Alright, so let's take a look at how this dynamic birth system is working. Here I'm just holding the W key, just moving forward. When I cross over the threshold into running, I start burning my stamina bar. And there's a small delay from going into a region. And also the movement speed is scaled by how much stamina we burn. And it clamps our character move speed. So let's exhaust ourselves. As you can see, it uh, did it by a gradient system through a curve. And I'm still holding the shift key and the W key together. So it's not going to region it until I let go. There is also a curve that is controlling a morph target for a breathing animation. So let's take a look at how everything is working together. So all you'll need to do for your character blueprint or just any character, you add in the dynamic birth system into the blueprint, call in the DBS update, and then set the speeds by dragging your character movement component or just any character movement component, getting the max walk speed, getting the crouch speed and plugging it in into the function. And then also, when you want the character to start sprinting, uh, you'll need to set some sort of variable which plugs into the functions. And also, this is just some code to get the breath fog to toggle according to the morph target. So this is the morph target. I just made a simple morph target for breathing. So the faster, uh, sorry, the more stamina we burn, the faster it's going to be. So let's take a look at the initialization setup. So when you add it into your blueprint, you will have the morph curve. Let's take a look at it. This is the morph curve. It's about three seconds long, three seconds. So this is uh, like uh, how long the character should take to exhale, uh, sorry, inhale and exhale. And I found three seconds is like the most optimal time. Next is the region delay. So let's take a look at it. The region delay basically sets a delay from how much stamina has been burned. So if we have uh, burned zero p uh, 90%, it's going to use a value of 5.5 seconds. If we have completely burned our stamina, it's going to use 10 second delay. And you can see it's working off uh, like a percentage thing. So if we just burn like 20% at time 0 0.2, this is 20%, it's only going to be a 0 0.06 delay. So that's how you can set up the region delay for the dynamic breath system. Then the region curve. Uh, this is going to be like an inverted setup. It's also going to have to be clamped to one second because it's basically a percentage. It's going from zero to one. So this is the region amount. So if we have burned 10% of our stamina, we will use 0 0.9. If we have burned just 90%, we will use 0 0.4. And if we have completely burned our stamina, we will use this amount. So, so this is how the stamina region rate works. You can get creative with this, depending on different characters or and stuff like that. Then the walk speed. This is the walk speed uh, for the character. So when we are at this speed, we're not going to be burning any stamina. This is the crouch speed. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is the morph target. 
that is going to be controlled by the component and the loop method for the morph target. Here is the profile, the max stamina, and agility. So agility will control how much we can regen and how much stamina is burned. So this can be like a skill based thing. And this is a, just a simple region multiplier. It can also be used along with uh, skills and stuff like that. And the character comp speed. Let's take a look at this curve. It's also uh, working as a percentage. So as you can see here, it's uh, inversed. At point 0, our speed is going to be set to max. It's going to be 500. And the more stamina we burn, the less it's going to be. So that's pretty much it for that. Let's take a look at it one more time so you can get a feel. So here I'm just walking, I'm not sprinting. See, there's a lot of panting going on. Let's tweak some of the settings, see how it works. So let's put our agility to minus 15, 27, I guess. And read your multiplier to 13. And let's take a look at it now. So you can see we are burning a lot more stamina now because our agility is down. And you can see it's taken a lot longer to region. However, it's uh, going off the gradient system that we set up through the curve. So it's a nice dynamic system that's going to give a lot of uh, feel for the character and a learning curve for the players. Alright, I hope this was useful to you and thanks for joining me.